Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Page 203 of Vig report says Clinton Lynch tarmac meeting was planned by FBI. If the mainstream media wasn't biased, this would be front page news right now. Stunning revelations from the IG report by DOJ Inspector General Michael Horowitz suggest that the infamous 2016 tarmac meeting between then Attorney General Loretta Lynch and Bill Clinton was coordinated, contradicting their claims that the meeting was accidental and coincidental. According to BizPak Review, in 2016, Loretta Lynch, the U.S. Attorney General under Barack Obama, secretly met for 30 minutes with Bill Clinton on an airport tarmac in Arizona. At the time, then-presidential candidate Hillary Clinton was being investigated by the FBI over her 30,000 deleted emails and her destroyed government-issued phones, which she and her team smashed with hammers. Several days after the tarmac meeting, the DOJ decided not to file any charges against Hillary Clinton for her unauthorized use of an unsecured, private email server to conduct sensitive government business and her mass deletion of 30,000 emails. The alarming coincidence was simply too much for the American people to overlook. But Lynch tried to explain away the overwhelmingly suspicious tarmac meeting by claiming she and Clinton had only discussed grandchildren and golf. Our conversation was a great deal about grandchildren, and he mentioned golf he played in Phoenix, Lynch said at the time. However, an anchor for ABC News in Alabama said there's no evidence whatsoever that Clinton played golf during his visit. Two years later and I have not found a person who can confirm that former President Clinton played golf during that trip to Phoenix, Christopher Sign remarked. Perhaps these glaring inconsistencies in Lynch's story were because her meeting with Clinton, which she had intended to keep secret, was not actually accidental or coincidental. Page 203 of the newly released IG report by DOJ Inspector General Michael Horowitz suggests that Bill Clinton's Secret Service detail had actually contacted Lynch's FBI detail to set up the meeting when their planes were on the tarmac. The OPA, Office of Public Affairs, Supervisor said that he later learned that former President Clinton's Secret Service detail had contacted Lynch's FBI security detail to let them know that the former president wanted to meet with Lynch. Although Lynch's staff was supposed to receive notice of such 204 requests, witnesses told us that they were not informed of the request from former President Clinton. Furthermore, page 209 of the IG report suggests that people nearby were instructed not to take any photos of the tarmac meeting, because Clinton and Lynch intended for it to remain a secret. The OPA supervisor said that there was a photographer outside, and he recalled telling the photographer that Lynch would not be taking pictures. The OPA supervisor said that he remembered telling the photographer that he, the photographer, needed to go back in his car. And page 210 of the IG report states that Lynch's senior counselor tried to warn her that the meeting with Clinton was a bad idea, as it was highly unethical, but Lynch apparently ignored the advice of her highest-ranking advisor and met with Clinton anyway. The senior counselor said that when she tried to go back on the plane, she was stopped by the head of Lynch's security detail, who was at the door of the plane. The senior counselor said that she told him that Lynch's meeting with former President Clinton was not a good idea, and that she needed to get back on the plane, but he still would not let her on. The senior counselor said that she then asked him to convey to Lynch that she was advising that the meeting was a bad idea. According to the senior counselor, he told her, All right, why don't you tell her yourself? and finally allowed her to board. Less than one week after the Lynch-Clinton tarmac meeting, then-FBI Director James Comey, whose boss was Loretta Lynch, announced that the FBI would not recommend an indictment against Hillary. Coincidence? I think not. Especially now that we know this meeting was not accidental or coincidental. Fortunately, the American people caught on to this collusion between the Clintons and the Obama administration, and they ultimately elected Donald Trump president. However, those responsible for this egregious breach of ethics should still be held accountable. These are people who, for years, have never been faced with any consequences, yet continued to climb higher and higher within the federal government. Meanwhile, average Americans are held to a completely different standard. Now, with President Donald Trump in office, we finally have an opportunity to change the status quo. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like, and subscribe. Thank you.